What up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I know. It's been a while. I've been busy. I apologize. But we have a quick one we're going to do for you today because we have a new launch tool we're going to look at here. A little unboxing quick. Uh, decent little tool that I think will definitely be affordable. And it'll keep you going. All right, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a look at this here new CR. This is a CRP123E. This is a very basic scan tool, but this is what I would consider to say one of the better scan tools on the market, for my, in my opinion, for anybody that's looking to buy something under $200. So let's open this bad boy up. Stop jacking around. I know you guys have been missing me. And uh, I missed you. I missed you. We've been busy, but we got some secret projects we've been working on, but we're going to check this bad boy out, go through it. First of all, we got the user's manual, which is going to tell you everything you need to know if you're not familiar with scan tools. Plus, we have some quick start guide stuff here, very basic, which uh, if you're familiar with scan tools, a lot of this stuff is going to probably be a little bit you know, wonky for you, but, and I, you know, you know, I'm familiar with launch scan tool stuff, so we'll, uh, we're going to talk, we're just going to run down the basics of this and just kind of go through it. We have a cable here, some packets of little plastic beads that are supposed to be saving you from moisture, but we have an OBD2 cable. Yes, this is a cable driven tool, an adapter, and a little pouch. This is a perfect scan tool honestly for almost any DIY guy out there in the field in in any DIY guy very compact give you some measurements on it take a look at it we're going to jump into it and show you the features we're looking at about nine by five roughly on that uh, nine by five not a terribly big screen but I'll tell you what this is a great scan tool once again I, I can't even I can't explain it enough to you guys you're a home guy, and you're just wanting to read some codes, maybe get a little information, trying to fix a small problem. You don't need to spend a bunch of money, okay? That's where these tools come in really handy. Uh, you, you can buy, you can step up and get something advanced more as you go. But I think that's the biggest thing on this. Now, a lot of, uh, you know, ex expert-level technicians are going to look down on this and be like, well, this isn't good enough. And I understand there's a lot of guys on my channel that are... Uh, hired level de technicians so let's just fire this up and talk about how long it takes to fire this guy up got to hold the button down longer than what I did we'll give her the old 60 second test let's check her out here looking at the timer now we'll see how long this thing it's pretty quick that's what's really good about this and I'll be honest with you even a, a normal technician having a little scan tool like this I find is a lot better sometimes just for the simple fact is is that you can use these scan tools uh, to clear codes quicker and just t check stuff faster. Uh, so they're not ex exactly just for DIY guys. People often get that confused. Uh, code reader style scan tools, boom. Uh, that was like 38 seconds. Uh, 30, something like that. So right around, just a little over 30 seconds, under 40, something like that. Uh, and you can see here we got full bars. I've already updated this now. And... Uh, it's got your layouts right here. Uh, listen, we got. I know we got to put the diagnostic. I know we got to put the connector in here. Very simple. There's everything's on one screen here, so it doesn't confuse you. And then you go into the diagn. This is all touchscreen, and you have all these options. Now I will say one thing that I would do is you can go in here and delete. So let's say you have Porsche, you can delete these off of the scan tool. Let me zoom in here a little bit, so you guys can get a little bit closer on it. I know you want to get a little closer. All right, sorry about that. So you can delete this if you want to. Uh, I'm not going to delete that because there could be a chance where I get a push. But we have all this. We have all this for your data information for all these cars, Suzuki's. It's going to cover a lot of your stuff. Uh, as far as we have some, you can test some battery voltage, which is only going to go through the OBD2 connector. This is not directly to the battery, so it's just going to give you voltage to your diagnostic connector. You can hook this up, and we we have this option right here where you can buy uh front buy programs or buy uh add on 
different stuff too. Very limited on the relearn. Sorry about that. I had to get back out of the mall, but uh, very limited. You got an oil reset, an SAS, which is a steering angle reset, and electronic throttle relearn. So very limited on your relearn. So this is, once again, not an expert tool. Uh, and then we have a little bit of a mobilizer, which obviously we have to be hooked up to the diagnostics on this. Uh, we go into your settings here, network, all that. Really, really simple. We're going to keep it really simple, stupid on this. The KISS method is 100% the deal. So this is not, uh, I want to go back into this. There's a, you can add on, there's some stuff to add on here. Let's go into the demo mode here. We're going to go into the demo, show you some quick stuff about this. Uh, Chevrolet, go in here, and we'll, we'll talk about the data that it does give you. Now, obviously, this is a little bit skewed on time, so don't don't reference that. But uh, we can we go in here and see what kind of information you can get. So we have read read data stream. We're just going to select all. We're going to talk about the PIDs that you get to look at here. So you can see a little bit of data. It does have a little bit of grafting on here. You can see the line starting over here. Not something that's really crazy, but you do have a, a quite a bit of data. Base injector, vehicle speed sensor, fuel res fuel rail pressure, ambient air temperature, engine speed, uh, all that. That's just a basic one. Uh, let's see here. Let's go back into read fault code. So it talks about your fault code, and we can go in here and we can do a code search, which does this on Google, which is not necessarily the greatest, but it can lead you into a direction that will help you out. So keep that in mind. This is not, I think my internet's not hooked up out here. I think that's what the problem is here. Because this that's why I'm not getting this. Hold on a second. Let me get my internet hooked up so we can get into this. All right, as I was saying before, uh, so you read your, listen, fella. Read the fault code. This just gives you a basic Google translation of this PO521 meaning cause. Not a huge Huge reliability thing because I will tell you it's just basic information doesn't always refer to you got to go through temp, your test procedures But it is uh, You know pretty standard instead of you having to pull it out in Google you can Okay, and uh, we also have transmission control module Brake request electronic a few other deals here. We can go in we can look at the data stream on them select all and you can select them individually, obviously, but it gives you all these, it gives you all these PIDs for those different ones, you know, which is quite a bit, to be honest with you, for the, the a tool that's under $200 is honestly a really good deal. So, once again, just a above entry level scan tool. Now, now that I got my internet working here too, I will show you, you can also, for a added cost, you can buy your different resets when needed, which is really kind of cool, I think. Uh, instead of having to buy a bigger scan tool, you can add in AC relearn, ABS bleeding, air fuel reset. Uh, we got air level calibration, ask what you know, some of those. But you got all these different ones you can add in injector cooling. You can buy these for around 40 bucks to add in any of your resets that you need. So it's kind of an all cart type deal. For so that way, you don't have to spend instead of spending another $200 to buy a scan tool up. You can just upgrade this one. If that's all you need to do for that day and you just want an ABS re-bleeding or ABS bleeding, boom, add the $40, boom, you're done. Uh, we have your updates. We also have uh, a PID library. Let's see here, our uh, code library, diagnostic record, diagnostic record. We do have a screen record, which is good, so you can actually take this into your deal. We have an immobilizer. We already talked about that. Uh, we have our resets, which are just the three. Uh, where do we go here? Where's the PID or the D DTC library? So we can add in a PO 300. Uh, you know, you can see a PO 300 and it'll give you some basic uh, information on that too to kind of help you out on it. So anyways, guys, that is the CRP 123E. Not to be confused. Keep in mind, I will put a link for this description. If you cho choose, this is the 123E. There is a, several different models. But this is the 123E Screeter Professional Scan Tool from Launch. Very good scan tool for under $200. I just wanted to share this with you. Uh, also, I'd like to say that thank you for King Bullen for sending this out to me. Uh, I've been working with them quite a bit. They're a great company. And I definitely feel very confident that these are really good people 
to take care of all your needs. If you have any questions or whatnot, they're going to be there after the sale. On uh, And this is, a, you know, no camera on this. You can do some screen recording. Very simple tool that doesn't get overly complicated. Anyways, guys, remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.